early in the summer, and unbeknownst to my knowledge at the time, Nike went ahead and remade the Vandal Hive from 1984 for the Terminator Genesis film. Now, I knew that much. What I didn't know was that in June they would actually release it to the public, even though the movie, I think, came out like July 4th or sometime around then. So here I am thinking, oh man, that's a cool shoe. I'm never gonna be able to get it. It comes out. I find out a month later that they actually had it made and they'd sold out real quick. And then on their website, they'd have like a four or a 6.5 available and that was it. And it was like that through the summer and I watched Nike.com like a hawk for this shoe 10 times a day. And then one day, a week ago, there it was. A 9.5 was added to the site at random at about 10 a.m. in the morning, and I got it. This is the 2015 Nike Lab version of the classic Vandal in the original black and silver white sole scheme. This is a very, very cool shoe. This is the coolest shoe I can think of. Uh, yeah, it's getting me with the nostalgia there. This is like what Kyle Reese stole at the beginning of the Terminator. One exception, sorry, two exceptions. Uh, they have added a uh, strip back here for luminance and night, nighttime jogging, I guess, safety. And there's no black minimal sole at the bottom. It's all white. I think this actually looks nicer. Um, yo, really? This is a fairly tight sit fitting shoe. It is a high. I don't usually wear a high. I have a medium that's tough to get on. Uh, the Air Force One Mid Flax, I'll show you. Those are pretty tough to get on by themselves. And this is a no easy fit. At a 9.5, I would have rather they had a 10, but hey, it wasn't available. I got what I got. Uh, but I'm very, very happy to find this. They're, uh, the only way I'm seeing these are on eBay for like four times the price. And they're probably knockoffs because they're from Hong Kong. So I'm very happy to get this Nike Vandal.